Lee Kennedy, the renowned music mogul, regarded as Asaph's intellectual successor, conceded defeat in a business venture he made 40 years ago in the Wolverine State when the city of Detroit sent Lee notice of eminent domain on his record store, forcing Lee out within three weeks by order of law, thus ending Lee's historic quarter of a century run owning the greatest record store on earth at the behest of the insurmountable power of the local political class whose plans for the property ultimately fizzled out, but not before they tore down the building without leaving behind a historic place commemorative plaque or even replacing it with their own proposed shopping mall. With all due respect to Mr. Kennedy, what on earth were you thinking? No, like, uh, 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 what, 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 was, what was the city thinking? You know, the, d did you ever figure out what, what was behind that? They wanted to put a shopping mall at Lee's Monroe Music in 1984. Right. What was the city thinking? Well, that's why we have a politician. You know, at the time that the city, Coleman Young, yeah. came in front of my store, and the lemons in, they got out, and they going to wow. what they're going to do in their park across the street from yeah. me. And um, we go to the city council meeting. He had us, the business people down there, to come to the meeting. And uh, they said if we stayed, they gonna put them all there. And I was already renting from the city. Yeah. And that we would have first priority to be what we want to pick our place to be in the mall because we still down there. Yeah. And so I stayed, I gambled. And a lot of people moved out and went to Southfield. Yeah. I, I stayed there, but I did okay. But it's just that uh, uh, I did better than what we was doing before because we went to really, well, the, the store was already, we was already doing what we was doing, but we're not on the percentage what I led it to be. Yeah, yeah. See. So they, do you, do you know, I, I, your life got complicated after the store closed, but do you know how long it was before they tore down the building? Well, I have to figure it up. Because yeah, yeah. that was in Don, they was talking about that when Florence Keith, when we went there in the first place. That's how old that they, building was. Yeah, they, see, they read, well, the bus terminal used to be right behind my store. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and at that time, it's a lot of, yeah, the bus terminal, they moved from there over on Capitol Park. To, to Ro the, the Rosa Parks Transit, that one. No, it's, they moved. Oh, yeah, I see right by the, the, the Tiger Stadium, the, the, the ballpark. Yeah. No, 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 not ballpark. No. Uh, the bus, it's not the, by the, the ballpark, it's on Michigan Avenue. Yeah, the bus station, it, it's, it's it called used to be Rosa, Parks, old bar, the, Rosa Parks. Rosa uh, Parks, uh, I understand what they named it now. They think we changed oh, a lot of I names since saying. people changed. Don't you understand? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it wasn't Rosa Parks, wasn't even just, she was discovered. I, maybe, I don't think she was known at the time. Yeah. In fact, uh, Rosa Parks' niece, we, I was friend my ex wife. Wow. And Rosa Park and Nice worked together at Detroit Edison. Wow. And uh, we used to go out as a couple. We'd go to each other's houses, and they would come to my house yeah. at Rosa Park and Nice. And that was before she had, I think that was before she sit down, I think. And, and, well, you, then, and you were friends with Greg, Gregory Reed, who was later represented Rosa Parks in that famous right, case. Right, you know, Gregory Reed. Uh, I've known Greg just about, you know, he was... Before he went to college, he just got wow. out of high school, I believe, you know, and uh, he used to go away and he would bring me a present. I still got some of the things he would bring me, like yeah. a wine bottle with candles or a uh, wow. wine, let's see. And the top of the wine bottle had a candle you put up there. I still have those things he bought me. That's and beautiful. he did a book. He did a couple books. And he uh, acknowledged me in his book. That Not just that, but I saw one of the copies, or a couple of them, he signed, he personally signed it to you when he yeah, gave it to you. Yeah, I was invited to his press party release. I've known Greg, all, you know, all the time. We was, yeah. <laughs> Not only his mother <laughs> and his sisters. I knew, I knew his mother and sister and his brother. You, he had a brother. <laughs> his brother was, uh, at that time, he was a high in the country in basketball, and I think he wow. went on and became a coach. See, I kind of lost touch, but yeah. he was working at Wendy's College now. But back in the day, everybody came in the store, like you were talking about sports, like yeah. uh, uh, the mailman, Carl Malone, 
uh, um, they all came in Jerry wow. West. Uh, the guy in the NBA logo, Jerry yeah. West. Yeah, and by the way, what I'm thinking about Lou Brock's, yeah. like, you know, he's my cousin. The, the, the Cardinal, he was a, right. yeah. And uh, during the parade of the day, there was a lot of people who had these umbrellas. Yeah. Tied on the head, you saw that? Uh, no, no. It's an umbrella you put on your head, you don't have to hold it. Okay. He invented that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Your in cousin invented the umbrella hat. Right. Wow. Yeah, he invented that. That's amazing. And, uh, yeah, but he's, uh, he's dead now. But I'm Lou sorry. and I, when he would come in town, he, he always called. We'd go to, he went to the World Series game with him. I didn't go with him. Yeah. I was with his wife, you know, and my wife, we all went together. But I hung out with all those cats. It yeah. just so happened I met a lot of the entertainers. I mean, I, athletes. Yeah. You know, uh, Walt Clyde Frazier, New York, The Beard. He was all the time in New York Knicks when he in town. Like I said, they stayed in a hotel right down the street from me. Man. And music just getting out. Yeah. And they come in the store. And uh, that was when Kiwa was there. She started that stuff. And she got to know everybody because I wasn't into sports. Like, I got to go to the, yeah. Yeah.